Today I'm going to show you a police badge script created by this person. It allows police and your server to use a badge item and identify themselves. I'll be linked to the resource and creator's preview in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. In the readme are some features and compatibility options followed by some other helpful links. So I'll scroll up and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then add it in. Be sure to remove the numbers from the end. Then go back to the README and click the link for the documentation. I'm going to right click and open the link in a new tab. Starting with the installation section, make sure you have all the dependencies. You can click and it'll take you to what they are. So I'll right click Steva lib and open a new tab. Then go back out and download the latest version. Once it's done, open it up and add it to your resources like before. Then you can go back and repeat the process for the others. Make sure they're installed and insured properly. Once you have all the dependencies, go to your server config and insure them. The other dependencies should be toward the top or beginning. So I'm going to insure Steve lib. Then the actual resource. And once you have everything insured, be sure to save it. Next, go back to the documentation and use the previous button to go to the item section. Then of course, choose the code that matches your server. I'm using QB, so I'll be copying this. Then going back to the resources and into the QB folder, into QB core, and then the shared folder, and then into the item section. And once you're in here, just paste what you copied. Make sure you add a comma and then save it. Next, go back to the resource folder and into the folder called inventory image and copy it. Then you need to add the image to your inventory. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. Into the HTML folder and then images and pasting. If you're using aux, be sure to follow the correct path. The last thing to look at is the config. So go back to the resource folder once more and open the config. The first thing in here is the badge item name, which doesn't need to be changed. Then you have the police job name. So if you added departments or they're different, change it here. Next, you have the time the badge displays, which is five seconds. And lastly, the command to change the badge photo. If you made changes, be sure to save them. You can spawn the badge with the item name or put it somewhere like the army for police to get. So I'll go ahead and display the badge. And it shows the rank, name, photo, and department information. There's no photo currently. Once you have a link, you can use the command slash set badge photo. And then paste it in here. So I'll go ahead and copy this picture I took. Then go back and paste it and let you know the picture was updated. So I'll go ahead and use the badge again. Very zoomed in, but you get the point. Then I'll go over to him and show him the badge as well. That'd be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching.